how to make your own mod cars in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.67 and the new Mercenaries DLC. So this is after the new Mercenaries DLC. I will be showing you how you can make your own mod cars. And this method right here will be 100% solo and you will not be needing to do a merge glitch or neck cut or a friend. So you're not going to need none of those things and you will be able to make your own mod cars with this right here so it's definitely pretty easy so if you're like just starting out on getting modded cars if you don't have a single modded car this is a pretty good video to show you how you can actually get started um so yeah definitely pretty cool but make sure you do subscribe to my youtube channel because in about of like five days i will be making a solo car to car merge glitch so or car merge glitch um so yeah make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel that way you don't miss it so it's literally the rest subscribe button just click on it and that way you're not going to miss that video whenever i do make it so that way you will be able to put it onto any of your vehicles if the method that i will upload does get patched i'll probably say it in the community post so make sure you check my community post uh, just in case that does happen so like i said a solo car merge glitch so it's gonna be pretty cool and um i think i did say enough by the way for this method you're only gonna need like two requirements the two requirements you're gonna need is going to be obviously a benny car if you want to get benny wheels and an f1 car if you want to get f1 wheels so pretty simple and straightforward and uh i think we can get straight to it with it so the first thing which we'll have to do just load into an online session by the way like i said i did i will be showing you how you can make your own mod card and how you will be able to make it uh, without uh, it's not a car merge without a friend and without neck cut as i did say in the intro but if you didn't watch that i am saying it again right now so like i said yeah so it's completely solo so now you will have to do so the first thing we're gonna start out with benny wheels and a benny car so a lot of people seem to be confused how do you actually get modded benny rims how do you get them in the first place like yeah sure transfer them to a car but how do you get them in the first place so now once you have made your here here you will need to have a benny car if you don't have a benny car this will not work if you do it to any other cars you're not gonna have the benny wheel option so you can get like literally the cheapest benny car and just upgrade it to bennies and use that as your uh, donor car so what you will have to do is make your way right here to wheel so everything else doesn't really matter what you change like you could change um obviously the color does matter make sure you put like a really cool color i do have this really nice cool color that i'm gonna equip that you probably have seen in the thumbnail you can also put on a custom plate and if you have yankton plates you can add that as well so as you can see the respray here so just follow along what i'll do you'll be able to make this really cool like modded 3d paint job I already have made a video on this, but I will show you. So click on Chrome. And once you clicked on Chrome, go back to Crew. You'll see it'll be like this. Make sure you do go to Crew Emblems, equip the Crew Emblem, unequip the Crew Emblem, go back to Chrome, equip Chrome, and then equip the color. Just like this, you do have this like mirror looking like color. By the way, I will show you a video at the top right on top five best modded crew colors if you want to see one of these. So what you have to do, make your way, do not make your way to, like here, go to Benny's original. Alright, so go to Benny's original, these are where the modded wheels are. Now the most popular, some of these maybe you've seen all white, the most popular ones by far are probably these ones right here called clean. Now these you've probably seen, they go like all white. Unfortunately, if you do not have a safe wizard, you won't be able to make them all white since it is a pure white with safe wizard. So I suggest you go with these ones right here called clean and then equip frost white, just like this. Or you can equip uh, this one it's called Cre cream peril, but that's only if you're on new gen. And if you're not on new gen, you just equip the frost white. Okay, now once you've done this, you're gonna have to go to tires and go to tire design and whichever one you like, go to the retro white walls. You're gonna have to equip any white walls. This is purely preference. It doesn't, you don't need to add white walls. Also, these ones are pretty good, the spindles. And these ones look pretty interesting too. So really, whichever one you like, all of them are modded. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. Any of these on a non-Benny car will be considered modded. So now once you've equipped this, uh, you could, don't have to change the tins. And if you wonder how to get a green modded tint, you can only get that with Save Wizard. And this method, I am showing you the non-Save Wizard method. So any player or anybody watching this video will be able to do. 
now we are done with the donor car for Benny so now we're gonna move on to F1s now this is probably the most confusing part for most people because they don't understand how to actually get F1 wheels onto any of your cars a lot of people they try to do the F1 wheel merge glitch and they end up with no F1 wheels okay this is the really simple fix what you need to understand is that not all wheels go onto all cars so some some f1 wheels don't go onto some cars and what you need to do is to actually get them onto any of your car you need to equip this specific type of f1 wheel so the ones that i have on right now if you equip any of, or some other ones they might not work i haven't tested out all of them i do know that these ones the triplex that i do have on actually work you might uh, get some other ones and see if they do work you could try the stock ones the only problem with the stock one you can't really change the color of the rim but um, that's the only problem. So just equip these right here, the triplex, the color. Like I said, just make it modded like in the last one. I did show you how to do it. So there we go. You just equip this and now you just back out. Also, one more cool thing. If you are watching this video like today, uh, you can also make your way to rims, go to tires and then make your way to tire smoke. Now, once you made your way to tire smoke, what you will see is once you scroll down all the way down, you will see there's this limited time, super rare. Uh, thing right here um where or tire smoke that you can only get this week so the patriot tire smoke so make sure you equip this on your donor car right now if you're watching this video uh in like the next six days from when it's released get on gt as fast as possible equip these right here because these are rare you can only get these like one week every year so really these are pretty rare not many people have these i will show you how they actually look like they look really cool so as you can see your donor car is done now the last thing what you have to do is now merge it onto another vehicle but like i said this is part one so part two will be releasing in a few days where i'll be showing you how to actually merge this onto your vehicle so make sure you click that red subscribe button that way you don't miss it and drop a like on this video let's try to aim for like 200 likes maybe 300 likes on this video would highly appreciate it and uh yeah so i think i did say enough and uh yeah i'll catch y'all in my next video peace